What's up, people? You are in for a real treat because we have a bedroom survival guide brought to you by Love Honey, an award-winning global designer and online retailer of sex toys and lingerie. They're trying to change our norms around sex and get rid of the taboo around sex and intimacy. Mm. Lucky us. So they sent us these four different amazing toys that are really gonna level up your bedroom game, okay? Come on. We have the Love Honey Rose Clitoral Suction Stimulator. 10 intense patterns and your girl's gonna thank you for it. Trust me. This next one is the Womanizer Premium 2. It only works when it senses skin contact. Then next, we have the We Vibe On. Do with it what you will. And now, the We Vibe Moxie. You can pick the pattern you want. You can pick the intensity and give her that satisfaction she needs all from your phone or you can just use the remote and don't feel like technology is gonna take over okay it's just gonna help you go to the next level love honey wants to spread the love by giving away free sex toys and gift vouchers by visiting the link in the description, signing up with your email, you're gonna get your first gift voucher. That's right, when you visit Love Honey via that email, that gift voucher is already gonna be put in your cart. All you have to do is sign up with your email, get your gift voucher, and start shopping. And by signing up with your email, you are going to get entered into all of Love Honey's giveaways in 2023. They are literally dedicated to giving up thousands of sex toys away. So enter your email in the description below to get yourself hooked up with some free love in this year because who doesn't need a little bit of that and let the good times roll or vibrate rather hey guys <laughs> welcome to the pod welcome to the <gasps> hey dev wow i feel totally not on your team anymore now that you're across <laughs> now the that table. i'm over the table yeah. yeah oh this new arrangement now you right? feel adversarial no, now i feel ooh, ooh, agitated oh for yep. those of you listening uh <laughs> we have changed positions i am a i am across the table from Lindsay. sometimes i sit next to her yeah. he loves switching but, positions but here her, belly, hey. her belly button was a little too stinky today so mm. i was like can i sit across the table i'm getting a little you're getting a little wow. right? yeah. you're getting that, wow. that belly button stink? take me as i am yeah. Yeah. Take me come as, as you are. are. Uh, come as you are. Yes. Um, uh, how are you guys? Good. Well, cool. any rumors circulating about either of you guys? Rumors? Um, no. Rumors. Your, yourself? Rumors about me? Not that I know of. No, they don't circulate. There's actually very many rumors about me, and uh, I'm just going to leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not necessary. I think every, everyone has, everybody yeah. has some rumors circulating. Yeah, I feel like any rumors that ever circulated about me, like, I don't know about them. Like, they're circulating. Yeah. They're permeating people's uh, perception of me, but I don't know it. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Does that um, make sense? They, like, uh, they did say all, I mean, the rumors is just that, obviously, I'm total lesbian, and that every character I've ever played has been a lesbian. Mm. I see, I see that. I buy that. W what? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. In Ned's, I, I mean, would her character have sold as a lesbian? I don't think. Yeah, no, because no. you were like boy crazy. Yeah, like, come on. They're the just saying because you played volleyball. They're just going for stereotypes, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you were kind of a it's tomboy. It's called being a strong woman. Yeah. But that was a long, you know what? Those rumors actually affected, because, okay, so I have BPD, and one of the things about BPD is that your emotions shift so often you don't have a sense of self or, like, know what you like or know what you whatever. Hmm. And, um, fuck, what were you just talking about? <laughs> oh, they're being classified as a lesbian on oh, yeah, 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 rumors? Oh, yeah, yeah, So that's the thing. So when, when people would say, like, <laughs> you're a lesbian or you're yes. whatever, I didn't have a strong sense of self to return that to, mm -hmm. right? And so it really made me think that I was like blocked or missing something. And maybe I still am, maybe it still hasn't come to that mm -hmm. point, but mm -hmm. I've said this before, allowing that question, like allowing that to finally be a question, like instead of, are you gay? Like, are you gay? Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. And allowing yeah. it to be that question, exploring it with people that, you know, really whatever. And yeah, coming to my own conclusion and I felt like my sexuality was really up for debate even before that. Like, I didn't even know mm -hmm, mm -hmm, how I felt or where and it was. And you felt, like, pressure about totally. the question from the outside and rather yeah. than just a healthy curiosity. Right. Am and I, I was like, is, is there this? something am so that? big blocking me? Like, yeah. am I? Yeah. And I, I don't think that that's it. It hasn't, like, come up as that as of yet, but yeah. that was, because I remember when I got Pretty Little Liars, I was like, oh gosh, people are gonna think that I'm gay, blah, yeah. blah, 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 but I had such a problem with that at the time because I didn't know for sure. Right. And um, yeah. Interesting. yeah. Interesting, rumors, rumors. Yeah. yeah, I fully get that. I wish more people, like, <laughs> I know for men especially, it's like, 
are you gay? Like, it's such a, mm-hmm. rather than like, are you gay? Yeah. Oh, it's are never a real attra- question. It's just are like you a, attracted yeah. to men? Yeah. No. Are you willing to ask yourself that without noise? Like, it doesn't have to be this, fu- I think, more. It's an immediate attack, like on the playground. <laughs> Where are you gay? Exactly. Are you gay? And yeah. I wish, like, it's nicer. I'm, I've been comfortable enough in myself, in my life, that it's been that question of, am I? And the yeah. answer has always been, no. Oh. Hmm. Am I attracted to men? Interesting. No. No. Hmm. Except for Daniel. I do find <laughs> women, <guy>. like. <laughs> <laughs> You're um, the only one for me. Terrible. <laughs> I realized, like, I was only able to do that, though, after I found somebody that I trusted so completely and... You know what I mean? That I could start to feel that love and then suss out if that was there. I'm not sure a lot of people, I don't know, build build to that, like have that intimate a friendship to where they're able to figure that to out in such a safe way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, both. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Explore or discuss. Yeah. Um, but mostly just discuss that and, yeah. and let there be enough time with the question to like really sit with it. You know what yeah. I mean? Hmm. Like it's not going to be something that's answered tomorrow, today, but that this was a question for years right. for yeah. me. Right. You know? And um, and then I thought after my last boyfriend, when everything went so like I was like I don't want to ever subject myself to that kind of a thing again. And not to mention the fact that all of my re- like strong emotional relationships are with women, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And as somebody whose physical touch is not one of their primary love languages, I could totally see myself being with like I don't know and <laughs> ending up in a non physical relationship with a woman. Yeah. Hmm. Like I really feel that. Yeah. Um, but you know. I- I think that's cool. Like, as we know these days, everything's on a fucking spectrum. Anyway. It do- yeah. You don't need, like, a pure, binary, locked-in, structured answer. Dude. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But today, <laughs> we are uh, going over um, rumors. Episode seven, part one, season one. <laughs> yeah. Rumors. Rumors. Uh, here's Rumors. here's what happened in the episode. Uh, a rumor gets spread that Ned likes Moe's. Yeah. Uh, that is unbased. Ned just literally says, like, we're talking about her nickname. And he walks by oh, someone yeah. and like says, Mose. I like Moe's. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't need to call her Jennifer Mosley. I like Moe's. And mm-hmm. then some girl hears it and is like, Ned likes Moe's. So a rumor gets spread that Ned likes Moe's. Uh, Bully Loomer gets upset about that because uh-huh. he loves Moe's. And the then the huge, huge crew, crew gets yeah. upset at Moe's because they love Ned. Mm-hmm. Um, Cookie, Ned, and Gordy are going for the Atomic, atomic flush. flush. Yes. The, we started a secret society, guys. Yes. The great. rumor that if you flush every toilet in the school at one time, the school the septic pressure will make the school hop into the air. Yeah. So they set off on the mission to accomplish the Atomic Flush and thwart Sweeney, who wants to stop that plan. Ned actually gets distracted off the plan because he has to deal with this Moe's thing. Uh, they try and ignore the rumor. It doesn't work. So then they have to have a fake breakup publicly so everyone can get off their backs. I love that. And Sweeney tries to stop the plan, but ultimately Gordy convinces Sweeney to go through with the atomic flush for science. And they pull off the atomic flush, which explodes the uh, school lounge, the teacher's yeah, lounge. Yeah, the toilet. teacher's lounge was the, like, we all the kids thought that it had failed. The atomic flush failed. We flushed and the school didn't jump off the ground. But. In that one section of the school, in the teacher's lounge, Sweeney and uh, Gordy. Gordy ended up flying It into worked, the air. and it exploded the toilet. Yep. Um, yes, uh, this, was a, this was a funny episode. Who, 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 has, who has things? I liked, there was a line that I really liked, <laughs> which I think it was yours, yeah. is as you're going over the plan for the Atomic P- Flush with like all of our cast. Uh-huh, like yeah, you everybody have the whole cast in, yeah, in Lisa Gordy's Zemo was there closet. Too, yeah. yeah, but you, you go, ladies, gentlemen, Zemo. Yeah. Uh-huh. Zemo. Yeah. <laughs> that made me laugh just like <laughs> Yeah. Good Zemo, moment. you're there. Um that cracked me up. And this was a great uh Janitor Gordy episode. This was oh, a yeah. great Darren episode. Just really letting him shine. Yeah kind of fight with Sweeney, cutting through the door. Cutting through the door, yeah. He, he cuts a hole in the door, all right, to uh, to get to Sweeney, who has boarded himself up in the, uh, the, the teacher's, teacher's lounge, lounge bathroom. So that he could prevent the atomic flush from going down. He's like, I'm not going to flush this toilet. And then Gordy bribes him with science. He's like, a real scientist would want to know see. if it was possible. Yes. Yeah, so I thought um, that was great. It was great. Man, Darren Norris. I love when when he gets like runway to to go. To do his thing. He's just so funny, man. J- Darren's insane. He's yeah. a crazy mm-hmm. person. Yeah. 
Yeah. He's like a cartoon character in real life. Um, and it was so fun watching him. Yeah. He was the voice of Cosmo from Cosmo and Wanda. Yep. Guys on Fairly uh, Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents. Parents. Yep. Cosmo, uh, Jorgen von, von Strangle, Strangle, the, the oh, giant yeah. fairy, Jordan and Timmy's dad. Yeah. Oh, Timmy's oh wow. dad. Yeah. Yeah. He was. He was. Yeah, he was. Right, yeah. Right, right, right. And he's like the, if you remember, do you remember Team America? Yeah. America. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. He's like the guy who like organizes Team America. Like he's like the the announcer. The Charlie of Charlie's Angel. Oh, like he's oh, like oh. who puts together. the team. Oh yeah. Come on, guys. Yeah. Get it together. So dope, dope. Yeah. yeah. Darren yeah. Norris, man. Darren Good Norris, man. incredible so human. Funny. Um yeah, you guys got anything from this episode? Oh, uh, a line you guys had um after you guys do the fight, so you both get beat up by the respective uh kind of boyfriend, girlfriend uh interest. Um and then you guys are like, all right, yeah, we're gonna fight. So you go in the middle of the hall and like, yeah, screw you, screw you, ah, I'm done with this crap. Da -da -da. And she slaps you. That was the weakest slap I ever saw, too, but <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Um, I'm sure Devin was like, don't hit me. Don't hit me so hard. Are you kidding me? Diva. Yeah. Devin Are you kidding Diva. me? Yeah. Are you kidding your face me? Got, your face got, your skin took on like red like for a minute. Like nobody could do like. Devin's usually down for the I'm down, down for, the for a slap. Yeah, oh, I'm really? down for a couple. Yeah. Like a little, it was like a little. Yeah, and movies slap. and shit. Like, let's do it. Let's do it yeah. for real. Let's go. But it, it, either way, we walked away with a weak slap. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I thought th the weak th slap added to it. No, I, th I think you just had. I like the weak slap. I think you were just weak with it. Wow. Uh oh. I didn't want to hurt you, Dad. Unlike you to me every day um, but so, so you guys walked away right and so you, you storm out and you go your separate ways then you guys come back and say but I still want to be friends yes me, me too. too same here <laughs> yeah. cool bye bye I thought that was hilarious man yeah um, so one of just like why was the toilet seat zebra striped yeah, what zebra that? striped toilet seat that was so weird. funny. That was so weird. Just like the teacher's lounge. Right? You know, and then it was just... in the like, graphic at the end. Then, like, but then they... it was around him. I know. Yeah, they messed was... up that. They launched it with our bad CGI and then put it around put between it us. Around. Yeah, I yeah. think they just didn't care, man. I think it was well, really just the cartoon element. Well, whoever was on set, they wouldn't have known what the CGI was going to be. So the CGI fucked up by putting it in. Do you know what I mean? It's like two yeah. separate departments. The CGI crew obviously yeah. didn't know that they put that on Sweeney's head in a scene. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and it, then someone it, just didn't care. But also, when it did was our happening. did our show even give a crap? Like we were care. doing dummies. It added and, to the cartoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vibe, vibe. yeah we, vibe. we didn't give a shit. Another line I liked was uh, when when Cookie's like. Uh, Look, Ned, I'm sorry to tell you, man, but she doesn't want to be with you. Oh, yeah. that part! That, that, that I actually have that right moment. here. I that have to tell really you this, funny. but Mose doesn't. <laughs> I, I know, know, I know, I know. Your little, little heart, heart is hurting. breaking right now. Your little heart the, is breaking the right now. The way you said it. <laughs> oh, and then your line, though, was... Hey, if if I was a girl, I'd be thrilled that I like if I liked me. Yeah, <laughs> like that. That was funny. yeah. And then we're like, moving on. Let's go flush toilets. <laughs> and then there, wasn't there uh, that flush signal where everybody was like that? Yeah, that was funny. Oh yeah, I was like, it's black power. And then flush. <laughs> At first, I felt a certain way. I'm like, I really don't want to do this. Dude, you need to do a, a TikTok. Plus, <laughs> Black Power. Plus, okay. Yeah, yeah. Same. I felt a, some type of way when I saw it. I was like, <laughs> did they did they just <laughs> use black the Black Power yeah, symbol like, for like yeah, a yeah, toilet flush? Yeah, yeah, like a joke. Yeah. But then it was about the flush. When I was a kid, I felt a weird way about it. But I was like, okay, I'm gonna go through wow. this. Wow. And it ends up being a like yeah. it ends up being a funny joke. But yeah, I, yeah. I went up watching it. I was like. <laughs> Stretch much? Would you have had Stephen Mark Herrian do this? Oh, <laughs> the other cookie or the boogie? They call them boogie. Yeah, yeah. No, hey. no. Man. Um, have you guys ever had like a bad rumor about? Like, I don't remember. I, I certainly don't remember. Like, like middle school days. Like, like I don't remember rumors from that time. I wasn't cool enough to have any rumors made about me. Yeah, like, I was a yeah. dork. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, this is a, this is a weird one. I don't know that I want, but whatever. Yeah. All right. I haven't seen Josh Peck in a very long time. Mm -hmm. Josh Peck and I used to have, like, we knew some similar people. I don't know why. I have the sense that there was a rumor about me that I don't know what it was, but, like, I saw the effects of it. Like, the last time I saw Josh, this was years ago, I, like, he was, like, in his car with, like, a girlfriend, I think, and, it, and like, I'm just saying what up, and I don't know. He said something to me, something about, like, like, I better watch out for my girlfriend with you or something. Like, and and this was not, I, I'd i never fucking- I'm sorry, but that is the, to me, I never that's swooped. the cardinal, like, oof. But yeah. I never swooped on people's girlfriends. I was a friend zone guy. Like, I was Dang. a, I, I would put myself in the, I never swooped. Babe, you did not put yourself in the friend zone as not much as you he, think not, you did. Not with you. What about Katya no, and Francia and all, like, or Francisca? Was, yeah. I, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying I didn't have girlfriends, but I also like was I was not 
I was not swooping on friends' girlfriends. Right. Like, that was not. I, I wasn't, it wasn't you like a I fucking. I think you're like, a little more flirtatious than you think. No, no. Mm. I'm flirt. No, no. I know. I'm flirty as a friend. Like, that's just how I yeah, fucking. That's I, what flirt, I, mean. I flirt with dudes. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it's one of my favorite things about you. That's what I'm saying. I'm just flirty, but it's not actually. Like, I've never fuck. That's what I'm saying. I've never swooped on someone's he didn't girlfriend. Go, but Josh didn't go further with why he. No, there was just like this comment that made me go. Like there's been a conversation about me. Like there's been a conversation about me that I'm unaware of and that is like not like this has never occurred. But I've did never he say done it. Did you know his girlfriend? You? Yes. Uh, oh. I didn't know his girlfriend. And he, he said it and there was kind of this weird thing. It was thing, as if and you had swooped on his girlfriend. Yes. Not that, oh, hey, yes. you're a Was you're he a feeling dog. a little some type of way about himself? I have no idea. I haven't, I don't think I've seen this before the weight loss or after? He was weight loss at that point. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That, that's the only time in my life that I can think of where like, I, I know. no, no, that was the only time I was like, <laughs> but at the time, our mutual friend was a pathological liar. So that could have had oh, something nice. to do oh, with my, it. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Do they have a name? Nope. I'm not, I, he, he does, <laughs> but I'm not going to say it. No name. Um, <laughs> right? No name. But at the time, we had a mutual friend who was a liar. And I was like, mm, I'm gonna that probably has something Drake to do with Bill. it. No, 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 no it wasn't. Um, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. Josh, I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm sure. He's, Great guy. He he's got a so wife cool and kids now. I'm sure he me. doesn't remember or know this. But that was the only time in my life I said, there's been like a rumor. Like there's a discussion about me that I have no fucking, I have no idea. I have no idea. Huh. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I got. Was his girlfriend at the time hot? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. She probably was. Josh dated hot women. Oh. Okay. Well, they, see, that's always tough. That's why uh, you, you, you got to go for the low hanging fruit. Then you don't have to be jealous. Okay. You know yeah. what? That is. <laughs> this is one way to do it, guys. I'm sorry. What I've done my entire dating career. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Minus seven. Mm. And at the end. Never had to be jealous. Yeah. It's good. All right. So, rumors, gossip. Gossip. Yeah. Did you ever have a gossipy phase where you kind of, you know? Guys don't really. Go oh, well, I, I don't, don't wanna, believe. I don't want to make a generalization. I don't yeah, believe. I don't gossip. Like. Because gossip is a thing for everyone. It is more of a, like, a woman connecting thing, is like. In in you know in like in like Mexico it's like cheese may like cheese yeah, like yeah, cheese may yeah. like let, what's the cheese may mm -hmm. like yeah what's the what's let's the news? let's fucking talk all the fucking shit uh, yeah. it is like a a thing um, but I think guys do it less but for sure gossip is enticing to everyone there's something about it it gives us like dope let's yeah. tell me about like their shit because mm -hmm. we're fine right yeah. tell me right. about yeah. right. the other people's drama because we're good I just don't good. know what she's gonna I mean I don't know what she's gonna do you know oh, what wow. I mean yeah. no I, I did you have a major gossip oh phase oh my god like I was a horrible gossip up until um, I really found my first friend until I was like 30 because that's kind of like <laughs> <laughs> that's, 30, kind of like, love, so that's kind of like that's kind of like just laughing at your sadness, <laughs> right? No, 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 because because like that that was, <laughs> that was kind like of three years ago, <laughs> two years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. no, I know yeah. three, she but knows. um, yeah, it just it 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 was something to where I didn't know how to be a friend, mm. and so I would talk behind people's backs, yep. and mm. not to the point that like. But I would riff on a character defect or a situation until it was like, you know what I mean? Like it it just didn't need to happen. You know what yeah. I mean? And and these are people that I loved, but I I just was like that type of like wherever you're gonna like that's the other part of BVD, you blow with the wind. You don't yeah. know where you stand. And yeah. anytime you're getting acceptance and whatever, you're like, okay, oh, I'll, talk, yep, I'll talk that yep, shit. Yep, oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it's tough, right? Uh I'm sure you've read uh Four Agreements, right? Yeah, of course. Like Four Agreements is like this classic like it's a great read it's real yeah. quick it's real simple but like the first one is like basically don't gossip yeah, yeah. it's like it it devalues your word and mm -hmm. what it's gonna always create. be true to your word yeah well and the don't gossip one is like what, be impeccable with your word oh like, be impeccable with your word yeah gossip is not that like it's never gonna create what you want even though it feels good yeah it's, it's never gonna time, create like, anything except negativity exactly yeah, yeah and i hate exactly it's in the ten about, commandments yeah talking mm. about someone when they're not there yeah it's just unfair it's not a good practice mm -hmm. yeah like, i agree but we all do it yeah we all fucking do what, it to yeah. some degree like tell me what's going on with so-and-so you know what i mean yeah like, ten, ten commandments don't bear false witness you know i don't, I don't, I don't know, know that yeah, yeah. No, I know don't that bear false, false witness. witness you didn't see it shut the fuck up yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nice. but what about nice. if you did see it oh well then bear it <laughs> <laughs> what about know. the gossip you yourself. saw <laughs> yeah true 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 yeah, yeah that's what i mean yeah so i'm gonna be that. honest so when i broke away from the friend group when that all happened. The oh, there was group. a breakaway? Uh, Tell me about it. I didn't know. 
Well, well, when we all of us, all of us split off. I mean, but you, you right? Had an but early I think break. I was the first one to depart. Was right? it intentional? Yeah. Were you like, I'm about to let these? No, happen. no, 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 no. We we broke up, and it was very painful for me. Oh, you two broke up. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I started to feel like um, I wasn't supported or being told like the whole truth by other friends, which was just a paranoia that I tried to talk about. And it just wasn't resolved. Mm. And so the friend group that I went to after that, they, a lot of the thing about making me feel good or better, because I, I was very heartbroken, the thing about that was that um, they kind of just tried to do it to make me feel better, and I leaned into it because it did oh, make me feel so better. So you started talking crap on yeah. the Yeah, and right. I remember I, That's like, where it comes from. one of the girls left a comment on Facebook and like, Carly's dad called my mom like what are you oh, gossiping about no. my kid about and I'm just like okay um, but yeah that that whole yeah. situation was pretty terrible that's an ugly yeah. that's an ugly know. teenage time when you're like lost and gossip is what man if if your relationships are being built off gossip like they're gonna suck they're, yeah and, and, they, and they'll quickly turn that against fuck. you yeah mm -hmm. exactly yeah. if yeah. your relationships are built on gossip Yep. No one's safe because yep. they'll gossip about you as soon yep. as you're fucking out the door. Oh, yeah. It's mm. so, yeah, that's so, yeah. that's a rough time, too. Yeah. I feel like that's when it happens a lot is, again, it's, it is less with dudes, but, but like teenage girls especially, that time where you're feeling maybe the most insecure is oh when you gosh. can gather mm -hmm. around talking shit about someone and yeah. oh, that's, not the that's not a good basis for yep. a friendship. The, no. the human condition is just so strange that we even just come up with words to talk about the probability of people doing something that we don't know anything about. Oh, I bet she's out there probably yep. right yep. now. Yep. Uh. Well, the thing yep. is, I mean, rumors, gossip, uh, people will say things that they know aren't true too. Not even, mm -hmm. I, I bet she's out there doing that. They'll just, oh, just lie straight and say up lie, she's yeah. out there doing that. Lies. Do you know what I mean? Lying. Um, what was the movie about lying? What was that called? Oh, uh, liar, 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 liar. I think. Oh, he's really? like you couldn't yeah. lie. Yeah, yeah li lying kind of sucks, man. I hate when I get not even suckered into lying because it's probably a well, character flaw in myself. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm trying to blame somebody. Yeah, I hate they when they make me lie. I hate when other people oh, force me to lie to them, <laughs> dude, <laughs> Daniel. You know, my mom always told me, like you know, like. <laughs> Lying is just never the way to go because you're always going to have to come up with a bigger lie to get mm. out of it. Lying just sucks. Why I, do we have that capability? I'm going to out my mom here. Oh, uh -oh. Your mom's correct. My mom, love you. Uh-oh. <laughs> my mom, not about big say things. Say whatever you got no, no, to say to get out about, of it. No, not about big things, <laughs> yeah. but about smaller, inconsequential things. White lies. <laughs> yeah, which is awful. Yeah, I hate that <laughs> term. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> But yes, my I mom. Mean, my mom was like <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. to get out of like yeah. a little discomfort. No, tell them the little lie. Mm -hmm. And I learned like throughout my life. Every time I did that, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It oh, always creates yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> either distrust or discomfort or it, like. Yeah. No, your mom's correct. Yeah. Just fucking tell the truth, man. Yeah. Don't make a lie. There's a fine line there between is, yeah. telling the truth yeah. and just needing a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. You know what I mean? Um, uh, I, go on. Yeah. I will say, you. So we broke up, and then and Ned's was over. So that whole that whole time, that whole orbit we were all in was separating. So mm -hmm. I went and found a new friend group too, right? Like there were friends I dropped from Ned's. Wait, so you started a new friend group kind of after two? Then. Yeah, yeah. So I, I got into this friend group after Ned's that was like really great. I met some of my friends who I'm still best friends with now through that group. Mm -hmm. But at the center of that group, man, was was a, was a this guy who I loved. I loved him. Um, but it took me a long time to realize, oh, this person is a pathological liar. Like he's lying all the time about everything, about inconsequential things, yeah. which is like the real fucked up shit. Yeah. It's like, you're lying about things that don't even matter. Yeah. And then sort of found out like, he's kind of like pitting friends against each other with lies. Ooh, yeah. and, and once I started to realize that, like that was it. Like once mm. it all really became clear mm -hmm. that that was in his character, at least at the time, I hope he's doing well. I hope he stopped doing that. Like, yeah. I, I know some people who Probably still know didn't. him. They, they say he's good. I, I hope, I hope so. I really do. But for me, like my friendships are, are beautiful and they're built on trust and they're intimate and they matter. And when I found out like, wait, he's like pitting me against this other person Sociopath, with lies yeah. and is just lying about every story from his life 
not even true. It yeah. doesn't even make him good or bad. It's just a he lie. He doesn't gain ground from it. Yeah, that's that, always weird. That's Some the people, weird part. There's strange like, people out there, guys. Yeah, so I want to say that to the viewers at home, man. <laughs> Don't, <laughs> you got to watch out for the pathological liars. People who yeah. are lying and it's not even helping them. They're just always doing it. Yeah. I can't trust someone like that. Yeah. So I bailed. Like it, I, I took off and that was it. I never looked back. I yeah. never was willing to open that door to him again because I can't. I'm like, yeah. I can't take, if I can't take you out your word, yeah. if I can't trust that your intentions are good, because it wasn't even like his intentions were good. He was pitting friends against each other mm. for like pleasure. Straight up social like for sport. Yeah, getting mm -hmm. off on it. Dude, yeah. it was so I don't know if you weird. grow out of that. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no, it was no. a really like. <laughs> it's a bad seed. <laughs> dude, it was a really weird jarring part of my like, Post Ned's innocent growing up, oh, right? Is realizing that, that some of these people exist. Yeah, yes, because yeah. it was my first friend group after Ned's. There was a ton of great stuff from it. And then all of a sudden, that fall from grace, that fall from innocence, like, oh, wait, this is actually like really gross and sad yeah. and like peeled off and yep. kept, Dang, kept some best man. friends yeah. from it though. Yeah. Um, so this is what I was going to say about the therapy thing. I, I, literally. Um, so, yes, don't lie, but mm -hmm. also there is a fine line between trauma dumping and sharing. Ah, uh, yes. You know? Yes. And, and yes. that yes. sort of small lie of fake it till you make it, you don't have to tell. Like, I am, I am so honest to a fault. The wound is bleeding and pussing on you. Oh, you okay. know? That's a good and That's a good distinction. Like, that is just like the, the polar opposite of lying. It's almost yeah. like too much... Yes, sharing yeah, yeah, and and yeah. making that your reality the more you speak to it yes yeah. there is a version i love that distinction yeah. there's a version of too much share it like oh, too much on, yeah. you're too, over share is a real thing you're being too honest mm -hmm. yeah yeah i mean but you know i mean i guess in those circumstances if you're sharing when someone hasn't asked you to volunteer the information then that's where the problem is but if, if someone comes up to you and says hey where were you on the night of da -da -da -da, you know tell as much of the truth you can Yo, it takes a long time to learn that. So I empathize with anyone out there doing it. I've had to learn, like I am, I'm, I'm so open with everybody. So mm. I can just like speak with anybody. It took me a long time to learn like, yeah, but like a stranger, I don't need to tell them. Right, no, right, right. right. Like, yeah, don't invite them Give to Give them a that. piece of yeah. my energy. Like I don't. It, and it's like, it's not gonna, again, it's not gonna create what you want. Like if you're just dumping on strangers or just being so honest with strangers like that's actually like inappropriate socially is like hold yeah. on like you don't proxemics like you know keep yeah, a they certain don't level have, of distance yeah they don't have a context like you're being yeah, no. too they don't have open. access to you like that yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 but but you have to learn that mm -hmm. you have yeah. to like get it wrong mm -hmm. you have to be like oh yep. i've been being so open with all these people and actually it doesn't feel i don't feel better i feel yeah. empty mm. oh yeah just letting feel everyone tired have and empty. everything yeah and I'm sure the people listening do as well, man. Yeah, I, I yeah. hate when people, and, and this doesn't mean that I'm not a listener, but sometimes it's tough for me in relationships too because I'm like, I don't want to know all of your experiences, especially if they're negative. I'm so sorry, and it makes me feel like a bad person, but I like to keep my sphere kind of clean, especially my mental space because it's so hard in this world to maintain a healthy mental space. It is. And then when you have to hear other people's negative problems, especially if they're things that they can solve themselves, it's like, get get that out of here. Keep keep mm. it to yourself or mm -hmm. write it in a diary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. No, Sorry. I appreciate but, it. Can but I, you also listen. You're a good listener. I, I will listen. You yeah. can. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Unless someone's using me as a sounding board and then I'm like, hey, stab it. Wait, yeah. so how do you, I mean, uh, I'm sure your brother uses you as a sound sounding board. That's uh, different because he's in your inner circle. But what do you, what he, do you mean? I think. Because you're you, a great sounding board. As, as long as people are. Do you mean are, a dumping board? I think dumping board. Yeah, maybe sounding more board so. is like bounce, bounce things off. Of. Posit if it's positive ideas, then yeah. But if someone's trying to resolve their own thing with you listening, no, no, no. Re resolutions, I love. I yeah. love. It's when people don't want a resolution. They uh, don't they just want, want to, to find an you. answer. Yeah. I'm a person who's like, give me information so that I can process that information and then spit out an option for you. Right. You know. But when someone's just like, no, this is bad and this is bad and it's just gonna keep getting bad and it's just this. I know, dude. Yeah, trauma bond. Like I can't bond with the trauma. That's just not. That's not where I'm at. The it. only bonds I've ever had. <laughs> oh. That's well, why it's so pure with Daniel. I don't feel that. Oh, yeah, well, all love here. That's that great. that's a really complicated part of relationships because I know yeah. what you're saying. There's a side of that where it's like, well, we all know it. Mm -hmm. uh, where it's like, well, you are just venting all the time the negative. You want zero solutions. You you just are. You want to be here to some degree. Yeah. But then there's also the side of like the times where like 
maybe you need to just vent. Maybe I need to just share an experience and I don't want an answer yeah. or a solution. Yeah. Like, you know, it, there's like a tricky yeah. line I don't there. know if I've you know ever I mean? been on that side of it where I didn't want a solution. I, I'm just a solution-oriented guy. I yeah. always want a solution. If I'm going to bring it up, I want us to use our mm. powers. I'm going to give you an to, example. Go ahead. What if there's no solution? What about a situation where there's no solution? Oh, this happened? This happened? There's. I feel like there's always a solution to alleviate. Go ahead, go ahead. Go I'm going to give you a deep one. Go ahead. Um, go ahead. My parents got divorced. Mm -hmm, it hurts mm -hmm. me every day. Mm -hmm. There's no solution to that. Mm -hmm. My family is not together. My mm -hmm. father mm -hmm. lives far away. I don't see him. I miss him every day. Mm -hmm. It hurts. There's no solution. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. There's There's yeah, nothing to do. Tough. There's no, There's no platitude. Well, feel better about it. Accept it. It's like... Yeah, I fucking know that, dude. That's what I'm doing every day. But like, the pain is there. The pain is there. I want my family to be together. That want isn't going away and telling me like, well, you can just not want that. You can just accept what the time is now. It's like, <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. I, I think there's you know just, what I mean? there's a, you, you're so right. And I want to acknowledge what you just said because we do have a lot of those experiences. I recently lost, lost my grandmother as well. So that, I know that was a weird thing. And I did have to kind of bring it up. Um, it, yeah, but not to trauma bond with you. Yeah. But <laughs> I don't do that. Yeah, yeah but Hold me. <laughs> hey, I do want to say there's a time limit. <laughs> so you tell me about your yeah. crisis. Yeah, yeah. You got about thirty seconds. Doesn't take that long <laughs> to get that off your chest. <laughs> no, <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I oh, wait. No, but no I'm I sorry. I'm no, 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 but no, you're fine. Seriously, I, because I, like I, I'm. I'm, I don't. I don't need anyone to like. Yeah, fix, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. you're right. This but is sometimes there's yeah. nothing we can. Yeah. Sometimes there's no solution. Sometimes it's just like, yo, I'm actually a little fucked up today because like this is coming up, and that's yeah. how I feel. And there's no solution to it. That's what yeah. hurts. Is yeah. oh, there's nothing to do because the hurt is I want them together, right? They're not gonna. And, but it's not, and yeah. right? there's not I, like the the paradoxes of the world, and like there's there's really not. Uh, I don't know. There's really not always a solution. That's how innovation comes about. That's how like um, solution and also solutions to things that it's almost like things that are can be unknowable, right? Until we, we you talk about that it. thing. Well, oh, oh, oh. even there's just this even thing in the, the atmosphere that's just yeah. unknowable. Like yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. know it, yeah. and yeah. so that sometimes is where I think the solution exists in this unknowable yeah. place. Not that you can't like, but acceptance, you can't put it into words. Acceptance is yes. you're yeah. looking for. Yes, just yes, think, yes. Yeah. The solution, yes, acceptance. But, but Most of the things in my life. I just want to share, there is go ahead, go times ahead. where like, yes, acceptance is right, but sometimes the acceptance is, acceptance doesn't mean the emotion is gone. No, acceptance no, doesn't no, mean no. I'm, I'm good about it. It's like, no, I'm, that's why I can tell you this is like, oh no, I accept like, this is my pain. Like, this is what hurts sometimes. Yeah. And there's no answer to it. Yeah. It, it is kind of an unknowable thing that's going to keep uh, moving through my life. I, and yeah, so I just think some of the time there are experiences yeah. where there's yeah. no solution. However, I know what you're saying, which is like, if I brought that up to you every fucking day yeah, like, and yeah. talked about it, even my favorite. anytime <laughs> I'm sad or, or yeah. anytime you're happy yeah. and I'm bringing up my pain, yeah. like, I'm telling you guys, well, and now the fucking world, but like, that's my intimate pain that I hold. I actually don't want to talk to other people Usually, about that. I you're, only want to talk to friends about that. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes nobody. Sometimes yeah. I don't even want to share that because I don't, they're not going to be able to do anything. Anything because they're, that's why. They're me, not going to do anything. And, and I feel like a dumb man for it because we just hold on to stuff and then, you know, then we just, yeah, get high cholesterol and go. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, like me, I'm the type of person where I'm like, if there, if I have a problem that, there is no solution to, I'm generally not gonna bring it to others. I usually, Ooh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I just stay in the house until I'm over it and then can come and function in a way that can be conducive to other people's goals. Yeah. I don't wanna throw my big heavy burden onto yeah. people's. Do you feel emotionally intimate with anybody in your life? Certain times, certain times, I'm more of a positive energy ambiance guy. So right. if, if we can come together and amplify each other's positive energy right but yeah, i just but. mean you specifically behind closed doors are you emotionally intimate with anybody yeah like i share things with people oh okay share, oh, yeah. oh okay yeah. <laughs> it's just like i yeah. believe you yeah i mean, Do you I, mean I don't, is that what family is, intimate? is that oh fa intimate like deep. intimate in the like, tender like, parts like, hi we're looking like deep hi how are hey, you daniel me, like this well no i mean i think we we have our own little vibe like yeah, me yeah. and my bro will um discuss 
discuss conundrums of the world, like you know, and ponder. That's not. That's you know, not emotional that's not intimacy. intimacy. Feel like she's talking about. Feel like no, no. I I, I will say, <laughs> I I will say, we were I'm on a cold-hearted the- man. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. Kind of. I, yo, yo. No. <laughs> Kind of. You're amazing. I, yeah, yeah, I yeah, absolutely yeah. love you. Um, I will and say you're so warm, but unemotional. That's, that's what I mean. So but I, but I will I say I was energy. I was yeah, on the yeah, phone. Yeah. I was on the phone with you like yeah. a year ago or something. I thought we had a moment. No, and, no. Okay, and when okay. we <laughs> and when we hung up with no noise, you said love you, man. Oh yeah, and I do love you. Yeah, for sure. I, I know, and yeah. that was intimate. Like it hit me. I was like Daniel, just like casually just was like, love you. Oh, I'm a loving person. I really right. feel like I'm a loving person. And, and that was intimate. Like when I got off the phone, I was like, Daniel loves me. <laughs> like, oh. like I was like, oh. yeah. And like, that feels so, so I, I will say, I get what you do with your stuff and your emotions, but I know what you're asking to yeah. Lindsay, which is like, there is a space that, there are times where I'm grateful for the friends that I have where I can not bring something that, where I can bring something that doesn't have a solution, but where I can just be like, yo, dude, I'm like really fucked up today, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. and they yeah. can just be like, mm-hmm. yeah, like, man. Like I'm really scared and that, about this. And that's this. emotional intimacy yep. is going like, yeah, I'm really, you know, I'm really fucking scared about and- this or I'm really hurting about this and there's no solution and we won't yeah. stay on it long, but like, that's where I'm at. And a yeah. lot of emotional intimacy comes out of, for me, tr- triggers and trauma so like Mm. that's what has forced me to get emotionally intimate with people is Mm because i've needed help beyond you know what i mean and i've 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 had to be help honest about what to say this fucking behavior Mm. that i'm putting out there you know yeah um so i've kind of been forced to it and like outpatient programs and all of my recovery Mm. um yeah yeah like I will share things. Like I don't mind yeah. sharing things, but I'm I'm a quick tap on it. Like it's putting true. this out here. Hey guys, this horrible thing happened to me. All right, cool. Now <laughs> no, literally, he, he, such a no, man he sits thing. down. It's such thing. a man and thing. And I literally just that out there? I just literally just look at Daniel. There's a little something, and I was like, Hey, buddy, what's 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 wrong? And he goes, Ah, oh, my grandmother passed away last night. All right, into the podcast, and I was into just the like, podcast. there I mean, was nothing. We have, we have to go forward now. Of course, you know, mourning. That see, that's a different thing because you know we had our time yeah. to mourn. We mourned, you yeah. know, a couple days there, but it's like the world is still going on. I cannot focus on the tragedies yeah. of my first world, you know, experience right. too, because there's so many people having tragic events. We so just, actually we just want to make sure yeah. you're also yeah. taking care of your insides, In- bud. We just okay. love you. But but you shared, even when your grandma, like you you like talk to me about that. Yeah, I'll that. share. Like, I, you, I don't you feel talk like to me I about can't that. share Yeah, you're not, you're not, you don't feel closed off to me as a friend. No, yeah, no. Mm-mm. Yeah. But, but yeah, you just kind of like, like you just kind of keep your emotions just, Keep yep. the good times rolling. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you have a little fucking Coleman cooler in there. Like. <laughs> Put that thing in there, boy. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Hey, look, it's still yep. there. Ooh, cool. Yep. And my heart, and I'm done. My heart yeah, is tucked right. away. All right, so um, let's come up cool. with tips, the tips for the tips. Episodo. Oh, yeah, see? Uh, d- Rumors? Uh, try to just monitor how and when you talk about people. And, the mm. f- you know, we don't want to make it harder for anybody. And usually gossip makes it harder for someone know, else. For somebody else. And, you know, it makes it harder for us to have any compassion. So yeah. watch what you say. Your words are powerful. I will say my tip for this episode is uh, watch out for pathological liars in your intimate relationships. Keep mm. them at arm's length. Um, we we want to have hope in humanity that they can change and be better, but you can't trust that. So keep, keep them out of the intimate life. And don't build friendships off negativity. Don't build friendships off gossip. Build yeah. friendships off emotional intimacy. And fun and positivity. Fun and positivity. And that is our show, guys. Wait, what's your tip, yeah. punk? Oh, see? He, <laughs> see? He's just ready to move <laughs> on. Yeah, wrap, it up. Wrap, it up. Wrap, it up. wrap it up. Okay. Wrap it up. Quick Skip it me. Yep. <laughs> I don't have feelings. Darren? Nope. <laughs> I'm calling the yes, next person. Yeah, the next caller. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so my tip for the day will be uh, try your best not to lie, guys, because you're just going to have to tell a bigger lie. And don't tell lies that hurt people. Thank if you, Sheryl. Yes, yes, my mama. Tough. Mm. What's up, guys? Thank you for watching this episode of Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. If you can't get enough of us, we got clips over on the Podco YouTube channel. You can check them out there. And if you really can't get enough of us, we got a ton of extra content and live streams and live Q&As on Patreon. And that helps support this podcast and, and help us keep going and make it possible. So we love you for that. Uh, check out the links in the description. And uh, thanks for tuning in.